Good day ladies and gents, please excuse my hair, it's a little bit messy today, but today we're gonna talk about Tarkov and uh, why a lot of streamers play it less this wipe or why they completely quit the game. So long story short, I will probably have a look at the Tarkov right now, so right now it's 3pm um, Moscow time and Tarkov is at 10,000 viewers, which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely worse than in the previous wipe. Like if we look at the previous wipe, um, I have two wipes open um, on the on the page. So this is the previous wipe, the winter wipe, and uh, two months into the wipe, it was averaging, well, Twitch, Twitch was averaging around 28 to 20,000 viewers. Uh, we're roughly the same state right now, we're two months into the wipe, and we are averaging like 10, 11,000 viewers every single day. So why such a big change? Literally, the numbers are twice less than what they used to be in, in the previous wipe. And the reason is simple, is because streamers are playing other games. For example, one of the biggest Russian streamers, Dunduk, and a good friend of mine is uh, playing DayZ. Uh, some people are playing other games. Um, I don't know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of DayZ, if I'm honest. So I've been playing a bit of Alien Isolation and uh, Zero Severed. I had a sponsored stream with Zero Severed and the game is quite fun. It's like 2D Tarkov, uh, but solo solo game only. Like it's, there is no multiplayer, which means there is no cheaters, but we're going to talk about this later. Um, so yeah, generally speaking, people are leaving Tarkov this wipe. And uh, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. So first of all, you know what? I'll probably put some of my gameplay on a background. And we're going to talk about different things. So, first of all, whenever the wipe started, it started with a lot of problems. Uh, the first thing that I remember is, first of all, Cultist's poison was bugged in the beginning of the wipe. And if you were poisoned, there was no way of healing it. So, if you didn't heal it with Therapist, and I'm not even sure if she was able to heal it, there was no way of healing it in lobby because there is no meds that you can take. You can go into the raid and take some meds to heal it, but the problem is, if you're poisoned, your whole account becomes bugged and you cannot go into the raid. And I think that was fixed in a week-ish or so. On the second or the third, yeah, I think on the third day after this glitch was discovered, so for the first two days everybody was getting bugged, on the third day BG removed poison from cultists. Um, so on the third day you were safe if you didn't get poisoned and um, yeah but it took them like a week to fix this bug and I know some people that reset their accounts or quit the game because they simply couldn't play as a PMC uh, another thing well I'm just talking about bugs in general now another important thing is a lot of people had their chatter reputation reset back to zero even if they had chatters like level, uh, level 3 or level 4 it was to do with the arena boxing I think and uh, people lost their rep, and uh, I don't think that was uh, fixed. I don't think people got their rep back, so we're two months into the wipe, that is still not fixed. Um, another thing is Lighthouse uh, Lightkeeper quests. If you unlock Lightkeeper, I know there is not many of us that do, I haven't unlocked Lightkeeper this wipe or in, in the previous two or three wipes, but if you do unlock Lightkeeper, his quests are bugged as well. Um, because you cannot complete them unless you quit the game for 12 hours and then instantly go into the raid. That bug is still in the game. And even if you do manage to get his quests, not every single time you go to the lighthouse uh, you can actually survive because cultists on the lighthouse, which is supposed to be friendly, they can randomly shoot you for no reason and you just die and it shouldn't happen. And it's been like this for two wipes and it's still not fixed. So yeah, the wipe started with a lot of uh, technical problems. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but they definitely pushed away some of the Tarkov audience. Um, and another thing, well, we I kind of knew what is coming this wipe in terms of the patch notes, in terms of the uh, new content. A lot of people got excited for the hardcore um, marathon mode, which is a great addition in my opinion. It needs some fixes, but I think it's it's a good addition and uh, I personally love it, even though I don't play it much, um, much often. But uh, yeah, I think for a lot of people, this wipe is not as exciting as it could have been, especially since we waited for it for nine months and it's been a long time. People simply checked out the new guns, they checked out the marathon mode, and since there is nothing else to do, they kind of quit the game. Another reason for that is um, PvE, because PvE doesn't get wiped, and you can get access to the content much faster, you literally launch the game, you, you update the game, you launch the game, and you have access to all the new content in PvE without having to grind it from zero. This is one of the reasons why it feels like the game is empty, because first of all, um, well, in the previous wipes, people were playing in uh, 
PvP, right? Like there was PvP mode and nothing else. Right now you can play PvP, you can play PvE, which a lot of people choose for a couple of reasons. First of all, there is no desync. Secondly, there is no cheaters, which is a big problem for PvP. I was watching Glorious this morning and he literally died four times in a row to different cheaters. Four times in a row. Two months into the wipe, when the servers are not even super full. And the third reason is the arena. BG made arena much better this wipe and it's way more fun to play in the new mode. Um, Bless Gang is called, I believe, where you plant the bomb and uh, you fight around and you defuse it like CS basically. So some people do enjoy arena. Um, well, where was it going? But yeah, cheaters are a big problem this wipe and uh, it doesn't seem to be getting better. BG tweeted that they banned, sorry, that was my Discord, uh, 28,000 cheaters uh, in between June 4th and October 25th. And uh, yeah. I don't know, it's it's a lot of cheaters, but the problem is they just hardware spoof their IDs and they get into the game instantly. So I don't really know what to do with this. RMT and cheating is a problem in Tarkov and generally gaming has a big problem uh, these days when it comes to FPS shooters and cheaters. Um, so yeah, basically I don't have the stats, but it literally feels like there is at least one cheater every single raid, whether they're raid cheating or silently cheating just to get some loot. It does not feel good at all. And uh, for all of those reasons combined, um, I think Tarkov streamers are just trying to explore other games. I don't know, Landmark is hitting the gym, Dunduk is playing DayZ. And um, yeah, I think everybody's just waiting either for events. I think we have a Halloween event coming in a couple of days since this is the end of October. Or people are just playing other games. And to be honest, I mean, it's not bad. It's not good. People were asking for my opinion if I think the game is dying. And I would generally say that we have to wait for the main storyline quests to be released. And I think the game is getting released either um, at the end of 2025 or the end of 2026. And it's going to be done with the uh, Twitch drops. Uh, we're going to get 1.0 update. We're going to get storyline quests. And this is going to be the biggest hype for the game. So saying the game is dead is not correct game is not gonna start falling off or dying before 1.0 gets released i think that's gonna be the, the 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 biggest moment of the game the most hyped moment for the game and yeah after that the audience will start falling off but that's okay like there is nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with uh, the fact that there will be less people playing the game that's completely normal i just hope that whenever the game is released and bg decide to move on to their next project we will get something like a community based servers like in DayZ, so we can mod our servers so we can get full support full mod support for the tarkov maybe we can make new maps or like i don't know some hardcore um experience we'll see i don't know how that's going to turn out uh, but yeah my point is uh, well my take is that, that yes this wipe is already dying out like one and a half two months into the wipe and we have to wait for the new one to see what's up uh, and yeah, I still enjoy playing the game, I still love the game, but the current state of Tarkov is not the happiest, it's not the best in terms of uh, technical aspects and the cheaters, and um, I just hope it's gonna become better. If you have anything to say about this wipe, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, and if you primarily play PvP or PvE, please let me know down in the comments below, I will read them, see your responses, and uh, respond to you if you have any questions to me. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate that really much. I hope I make your days a bit better and um, I will see you in the next video. Everybody take care, play different games. Don't force yourself to play Tarkov if you don't want to. It's not worth it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.